everyone. So when I first saw the schedule for this program, I was very happy to see that I was way away from Mr. Vijay Shekhar Sharma. Sorry, sir, I've been a big fan. And uh, as fate would have it, I am right before him. And uh, I hope some of the charm rubs off in the process. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Anu Talreja. I'm the founder and CEO of Oxford Caps. Today, we are going to talk about a topic which brings back fond memories for all of us, student life. So, as most uh, successful founders you would have heard, most of them are college dropouts. I, on the other hand, was a brave heart who spent eight years in college. And one of the biggest casualties of those eight years, well, it's right in front of you. It's full, unadulterated 15 <laughs> kgs of weight, which just won't go away. College uh, changes my definition of the food pyramid. And as you can imagine, for the most part, I stuck with the bottom part of it. Now, fast forward over a decade later, I'll not number the exact number. Um, I am dismayed to see that students even today are served the same rotis which you can literally shake off the uncooked flour from. And all this is happening while their parents are earning more than 100x of parents of my generation. They are spending much more on discretionary spend on lifestyle products. And some of them even have homes managed by Alexa as opposed to the Pushpa auntie of my times. But when the students go out for college, 10.6 million students move every year in India from one city to another for the purpose of education. When they go out to college, they are met with the same fate of filthy, unhygienic PGs, serving the same rotis with the elasticity to the power of infinity, and, and managed by the same uncles and aunties, which in our recent study we met, they still give us a scare. Right? I'm sure this is something you're all very familiar with. At Oxford Caps, we are reinventing this experience. We call it Student Living 2.0. We are designing a living experience for the generation that is more connected, more global, and more tech savvy and more environmentally sensitive than any of the generations born previously. And one would ask, what is it that we are doing different? Admittedly, student housing has been the blue-eyed baby of the big institutional capital all over the world for ages. Owing to the yields that student housing generate, you will see the biggest private equity funds, biggest pension funds have been on grind, buying spree for student housing assets across the world. So what are, we, what are we doing different here? Well, in today's age, when we are organizing this industry in India, we also have an opportunity at hand to reinvent the student housing product for Gen Z. As I said, the generation which is more connected, more savvy, and more envi environmentally sensitive than any of the generations born previously. And how are we doing that? So at the core of our product is design thinking. Design thinking is human-centric approach towards designing a product for this generation, which is connected, global, aware of what's happening around the world, and environmentally sensitive. And how are we doing that? A couple of things. I'll just uh, talk about some examples of what we are doing at Oxford Caps. Uh, our design thinking approach first led us to designing of what we call a study life unit. You know, that's basically a room uh, which evolves its design from human movements, human behavior, and hence optimizes space, it improves customer experience, and in the process of doing so, gives excellent yields to the asset owners in the industry and increases operating efficiencies. This design process is not just for the customers. It's also the bit to improve efficiencies. You know, we have a lot of efficiency matrices built into this design process. For example, can I design a room? Uh, my architects have this agenda. Can I design a room which can be cleaned in flat four minutes? Reduces my operating cost. Uh, another, you know, very unique behavior that 
annoys the hell out of me. Uh, whenever we go to one of our properties, you'll see 50, 18 years old, they're having gossip sessions, and how do they talk? They're standing in the corridor, they'll be leaning against the wall with their foot against the wall. You need a repaint every six months. Can I design walls that don't need repainting for at least the next five years? That adds to my efficiencies. And that is where design thinking is being used by us to create a product for Gen Z. Engagement. You know, so I'm an architect by background, and one of the most fundamental <coughs> concepts that we learned in architecture school is that inward-looking architecture, it promotes social interaction. Uh, ironically, you would see it mostly in ancient times. You would have seen it in prisons, which have central courts. You would have seen it in forts, which are inward-looking. In the modern era, I think one company that has really used it very well is WeWork. Even the smaller office floor plates, where you'll technically be met with a reception and a guard on one side, WeWork has redefined it to come to an engagement experience, an entrance experience, which enhances community, uh, you know, a sense of community in their space. And that is something that is even more important for student, uh, student housing. You know, just imagine if, uh, if that community experience or that sense of community in dorms wasn't there, we would have not had Facebook. And what would be life without Facebook, right? Uh, so Gen Z, we all know, is the generation born with technology. But if you look at their hostel products, their school products, well, they remind me of the DOS systems I learned in sixth grade of computer science. They have nothing to talk about. Uh, at Oxford CAFs, we are using technology to create a seamless, data-driven, and engaging customer experience. So while uh, starting from booking your accommodation to finding your perfect roommate to managing the house, everything is right at your fingertips. So what I described here is basically the student living 2.0 version. Somebody very rightly said before, uh, previously in the session, our biggest competitor is ourselves. Three years from now, we look at student living 3.0, where we can use smart homes, we can use smart building technology, just finishing up, smart building technology to optimize consumption, we can use smart building technology to enhance security systems, we can use machine learning to provide a customized preference-based experience for the users. Thank you very much for listening. And your bags, when you step out today, will have a discount voucher. If any of your kids is going out to college this year, we welcome you to come and experience Student Living 2.0 with Oxford Caps. Thank you.